If you're suffering from hair loss, it is very likely that you heard about finasteride, a medication commonly used for treating male pattern baldness and at times female pattern hair loss as well. A medicine which has been controversial both in medical circles and online forums as well. While it has been hailed as a miracle drug by doctors and patients alike, others view it with skepticism and at times with abject fear. At the heart of this controversy lies the conundrum, the reluctance of many patients suffering from hair loss to swallow this tiny pill, despite its potential benefits. While exploring this issue, it becomes evident that misconceptions, exaggerated fears often overshadow the reality of finasteride side effects. For those who do not know about finasteride's mechanism of action, well, finasteride is a DHT blocker. It prevents the conversion of testosterone into its active metabolite DHT. And DHT has been incriminated as the key hormone, the key androgen that exerts a deleterious effect on the hair follicles if the patient carries the male pattern baldness gene. By decreasing the levels of DHT by inhibiting 5-alpha reductase inhibitor, Finasteride effectively combats hair loss, with most people suffering from early thinning responding miraculously. For many people who have hair loss and who go down this path, who take finasteride, the lure of finasteride is very appealing because it is with finasteride that they can maintain a head full of hair for a very long period of time. Most people understand that finasteride has a very low incidence of side effects. It is a relatively safe drug to take, an effective drug the only drug that treats hair loss in male pattern baldness that has been there for some time now that has withstood the test of time. If you're fit, if you're otherwise healthy, if you have normal hormone levels, there is no need to fear finasteride. Those of us who use this drug intelligently and follow my previous video, a link to which is above, the five strategies in combating side effects with oral finasteride. If you follow these five dictums, you can be rest assured that if you are healthy otherwise and you have been cleared by a competent doctor to take finasteride, side effects due to finasteride will be very few and far between. However, despite these many benefits, the use of finasteride comes with a cloud of concern, primarily due to the rampant reports of adverse side effects. One of the most alarming of these is the potential for sexual side effects, including decrease in libido, erectile dysfunction, ejaculatory disorders, low sperm count, to name a few. Additionally, there have been anecdotal accounts of finasteride causing depression, anxiety, sleep disorders, and at times cognitive impairment. Well, these reports have undeniably instilled fear in individuals with hair loss who were otherwise contemplating on taking finasteride. Compounding these fears is the prevalence of misinformation prevailing in the online forums dealing with hair loss. Sometimes anecdotal bad experiences, other times utter horror stories and sensationalized accounts of adverse reactions can easily sway those sitting on the fence contemplating the use of finasteride for treating their hair loss. The power of anecdotal evidence cannot be understated. As personal experiences shared on social media platforms, on various forums dealing with hair loss often carry more weight than scientific data. People who have no side effects and absolutely great results with finasteride may not have the inclination to post positive reviews online. And this is true of many other services as well. The happy patient never posts. The patient or the person who's taking a service and who's unhappy is more likely than not to post a negative review. So this voice of those who get side effects or who think they have side effects gets inordinately amplified as they seek solace in numbers, on forums, and social media, where hundreds of similarly afflicted patients reside. As a result, many individuals suffering from hair loss decide to forego the use of finasteride for treating the hair loss, fearing the potential of life-altering side effects, and thereby missing the train to assured hair loss restoration. However, it is crucial to put these fears in the right perspective. While finasteride side effects are undoubtedly real, they are often blown out of proportion. Clinical studies have shown that sexual dysfunction occurs only in a small percentage of users with the vast majority experiencing no side effects at all. I have been using this drug to treat male pattern baldness for over 20 years now and myself have been taking this drug for the last 12 years. 
with no concerns whatsoever. In fact, the incidence of side effects in placebo controlled trials is comparable to that in the general population. Moreover, many of the reported psychological symptoms lack conclusive evidence linking them directly to finasteride. However, most worrisome is the fact that most of the people who are using these uh, pills and who are reporting side effects are the same people who are popping these pills wantonly, casually, without a prescription, without even getting an assessment done from a hair loss doctor, without getting their lab work done, without getting a detailed assessment of the psychological condition from a doctor. It is also alarming that even general practitioners do not have much knowledge about this drug and are usually found biased against finasteride. Rather than relying on scientific evidence, they base their opinion about this drug on hearsay, chiefly hair loss forums which reach a frenzied pitch every time the name finasteride is dropped even in the passing. So even when patients know that there are no side effects from finasteride, they do their own research but still some patients are very hesitant in taking finasteride. Now why does this happen? The answer to this my friends lies in our innate aversion to risk and particularly when it comes to your well-being, your health. The fear of the unknown coupled by the potential for irreversible side effects can often be daunting, at times paralyzing. In a society bombarded with warnings, with disclaimers, it's no wonder that many individuals like to err on the side of caution when it comes to finasteride. Furthermore, the stigma attached to male sexual health adds another layer of complexity to the whole issue. Discussing issues like low sexual libido, like erectile dysfunction, can be uncomfortable and often embarrassing for most men. As a result, these concerns often go unaddressed, further perpetuating the fear, the stigma associated with the drug finasteride. But despite these challenges, it is essential to acknowledge the many benefits that finasteride can offer in treating male pattern baldness. And many patients suffering from it can stand to gain by using it for treating the hair loss. For men struggling with hair loss, the potential of improved quality of life cannot be understated. By weighing the risks and benefits in consultation with a competent doctor, a doctor who routinely treats hair loss, individuals can be helped in allaying their anxieties, in making an informed decision about whether or not to take finasteride. A very simplistic solution to this is, rather than getting carried away by all this propaganda, why not try taking this drug for four to six weeks if you're otherwise eligible for this drug? If you have side effects in four to six weeks time, you can go off this drug and try other forms of treatment. I have done several videos on this topic and if you follow them, this medication finasteride can be taken safely, effectively and for a long period of time without any concerns as some of my patients who've been taking it for more than 20 years and myself taking it for 12 years. In conclusion, however, finasteride remains a hard pill to swallow for most individuals despite its many benefits. The fear of side effects fueled by misinformation, fueled by stigma often outweighs the potential benefits of keeping a head full of hair for the rest of your life. It is crucial to approach this drug with an open mind, a critical eye, separating fact from fiction before we make a decision on whether to take it or not. Do your own research, trust your doctor to some extent. If you have side effects, the side effects go away mostly in four to six weeks. If you are still very hesitant about this drug, at least try it for four to six weeks and then give a judgment on how it affects your body system. While finasteride may not be the right choice for everyone, it has the potential to significantly improve the lives of those who embrace it for treating the male pattern baldness. So that was the talk for today. If you have any questions about hair loss, hair loss treatment for men and women, about the use of finasteride, about the use of dutasteride, their potential benefits and side effects, do let me know, leave a comment in the comment section below and like always, I'll be there to help you. Have a nice day and God bless you.